Well, uh, thank you for Radio Bakita. I'm the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Yei, Bishop Arkulano Nodo. I arrived to Juba uh, yesterday from Yei by, by plane. The only safe way to leave Yei uh, for Juba, safe way I say, is, is by air. But of course, there are people who are making risks to come by, by land, traveling to Juba. But there are uh, no routes out of Yei, uh, from Yei, say it was Kaya, Bordas, and then from Yei, uh, it was, it was Torre Maridi Road. No, that road people cannot move. Uh, Juba, Yei. Uh, there are people who are making risks. They come by land. Often they also fall into ambushes. But the safe way to leave Yei, if you want to come to Juba, maybe to go elsewhere, is by land. So from this point of view, we can say that the situation in the diocese, let us just put it in Yei, River State, actually. Because it will include practically maybe also Kajukeji, and may also include, uh, in our case, in my case as Bishop of Yei, also another state. Because we are in Yei, but we are not able to leave Yei in order to be able to visit these places like Kajukeji or, or Amade. Winning Mundri because of, of the situation, unless we have to struggle to find way by air. So, if you want a short answer to what you are uh, asking, the situation uh, of the diocese, if you, it is a situation of, uh, of, of, of war, confrontation, fighting, and so military situation in fact is not good. And when we speak of military situation, it involves also political situation uh, because it involves fighting ambushing on the road, confronting of each other, the government army with armed groups who are around. They are not too far from the town. And uh, usually the government army, of course, is, 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 is superior in terms of number, but also in terms of, uh, of equipment. So when these boys get defeated in a particular place where they would like to, to, to show their presence, the population in that whole area is all gone, villages burned, properties taken away, looted, and there is misery. One bad thing that is in Yei, there are more than a hundred thousand people trapped in Yei town. In the countryside there are not many people practically. Many people either have gone to Uganda as refugees or to Congo, or some even come to Juba. But they had more than 100,000 people trapped in Juba are the very people who are suffering hunger. There is a terrible hunger situation in Yei. As I said, the roads reaching to Yei bringing commodities, including food, are blocked. Now, these over 100,000 people trapped in Yei are suffering from hunger. Uh, right away now, I can say breadwinners, parents in the families, and grown-ups people except the elderly, perhaps old people, they, well, these breadwinners, parents, have started losing weight because the little food they have, they give to the children. If the situation continues, the next two, three months, even children will become thinner. And in the long run, if the situation doesn't change, children will be the first to start dying of hunger. And right away now, the situation is going from bad to worst. We have not said sin. Whether it will improve soon or not, I don't see it, we don't see it. It is from bad to worst since April this year. From April, May, June, July. Now we are in October, things have been going from bad to worst, and we don't know when it is going to improve. I think I will put to end here, Bakita Radio. Thank you very much for calling me, but please continue with your service. Bakita Radio. Radio Bakita. Sotel Kenisa. The voice of the church.